cichlids are the world's most abundant species of fish. Their amazing ability to adapt to various habitats makes them evolutionary marvels, and there are literally thousands of varieties. They're also one of the only fish species to actively take care of their young. The humble cichlid is found in freshwater lakes in Central and South America and Africa. But nowhere are there more species than here in Lake Malawi. At the foot of the Great Rift Valley lies Lake Malawi. It's Africa's third largest lake and has existed relatively undisturbed for thousands of years. It was declared a World Heritage Site in the 1970s due to its biological importance. And it's obvious that an astonishing underwater ecosystem has developed here. It's simply teeming with fish. A team of filmmakers is on their way here. After two days of trekking through southern Africa, they reach Villanculos on the coast of Mozambique. Yesterday was a really heavy day long hours on the road and we're starting to feel a little bit tired but it's just so beautiful the outlook from here guys are getting their dows ready to go fishing and it's quite significant today because we leave the coastline for lake malawi and this is the last time we'll see the indian ocean so we're over halfway so we've broken the back of the trip but it's going well Picking their way through the Mozambican potholes and driving through dense bush, the crew finally cross the border and arrive in Cape Maclear at the southern end of the Great Lake. Lake Malawi is almost completely landlocked and this huge body of water isn't fed by any major rivers. The cichlids have the entire lake to themselves. Because of this, they've had to compete with each other for all the available space and resources. And they've become experts at adapting to specific niche environments, whether it's the rocks, the weeds, or the sand. In fact, the cichlid fish species diversity is over 60 times greater than the famous Darwin's finches found in the Galapagos Islands, another World Heritage Site. But as the sun sets over the lake, discovering the secrets of the cichlids will have to wait until dawn. You just have to bear with us while we, we work out where to go, what to find, where, and then when we actually settle down to species, discovering more about how they work and why these fish in this lake have diversified so much. So it's a real journey of discovery. Under the water, clouds of many, many different species of little fish await the team. The lake's underwater world is divided into various micro-environments, and Tumby Island represents the weed-free rocky zone. The fish tend to stay in defined territories that they've adapted to. The little yellow and blue cichlid swims around the top of a small boulder, this being its chosen niche.
these small fish have colonized every square meter of habitat in this lake. Some feeding on the sunny side of the rocks, some pecking, and some dredging sand. They appear in hundreds of different colors. Some bright with iridescent yellow cheeks, some pale with purple spots, and some drab. Safely blending into the background. Some fish are fiercely territorial, chasing others off their patch. Some are also big. This blue specimen is about 20 centimeters or almost 8 inches long. All these cichlids are related. This huge family tree has blossomed from small roots, so many cichlid traits are shared. Two major ones being the distinct spots on the anal fin and their tremendous concern for their young. Moving a little deeper, weed grows between the rocks. Here, a whole different set of fish emerge just meters from the sunlit rocky zone. Cichlids pick at weed lying on the floor. Inches away, an iridescent cousin lurks, perhaps guarding a nearby nest. At the foot of the rocky slide lies a denser weed bed, another major niche in the lake. Weed beds offer better cover for smaller fish and fry. Again, specially adapted fish working specific areas. Even deeper, there's another species that specializes in puffing sand to expose food items. A dropped anchor chain provides a new niche, and this microzone has been colonized by little yellow cichlids. They're adapting to living within the links. 